everybody welcome sorry it was a little late getting on the time just goes flying away all right well welcome it looks like there's all kinds of people on here so that's fantastic i'm just gonna put my stamp and lips on and try and make myself not glowing all right. Well, I hope you guys had a great weekend. I was in Wisconsin for a stamping event. And here, is this the right distance? There. Uh, I was in Wisconsin for a stamping event I was asked to speak at, so that was pretty cool. It was very wonderful. Wonderful. Getting away. <laughs> Uh, we had, luckily, the weather held out. There was kind of some crazy weather here in Iowa, and um, luckily I was able to get there, on, um, and everything was fine. And so, anyway, uh, I hope that you guys had a great weekend, too. Uh, we, we here in Iowa, did you just see that? There was like a little thing that went flying. I don't know what that was. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope that you guys are doing well on this fabulous Monday. It is January and kind of sunny. Well, today was cloudy here, but, um, there was a little sun for a while and it's, I don't know, whatever. Um, Let's see, I have some really fun projects for you. And, ah, Wendy Sue is saying hello from Packerland. Okay, so I have to tell you guys this. I was in, I was actually near, well, kind of near Green Bay. I mean, not too far from Green Bay. On a Sunday, on a playoff Sunday. And let's just say that is an interesting experience. I was driving home and there were like no people on the road um and that was crazy um glenda i just read your comment can you email me about that i i will never remember that but i'm happy to help you with with that so just if you could um just email me so anyway, uh, being in Wisconsin on a playoff Sunday was an interesting experience. Our hotel had green mimosas, which was, I was like, why? Like, what is up? There's a guy at the bar drinking a green drink. Like, that's weird. And then I realized what it was for. I wasn't thinking clearly, obviously. Um, and then... When I was driving home, like there were no cars on the road, like at all, because I think everybody was watching the game. So my my daughter was is a Packers fan, and she was all excited. She was a little stressed, but it was kind of funny to watch her. <laughs> so anyway, um, but I've got some great projects for you to see. I uh, actually am really kind of excited about them. Um, I'm also not feeling 100% right now at the moment. So if for some reason I have to abruptly say goodbye, please know that it's because I don't feel well and I'll finish up when I'm better. My tummy is kind of not feeling the best. So anyway, I wasn't even sure if I was going to say anything to you guys, but I thought, oh dear, if I have to like go throw up. I should probably tell him what's going on. And no, I'm not pregnant. That would be a divine act of God. Because <laughs> not only do I have no uterus, but my tubes are tied too. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, well, I think we should just get to it though. <laughs> just in case. Blah. So sorry about that, you guys. Uh, I really am looking forward to sharing my projects with you, though. So I hope I'm able to hold on. 
Uh, all right, I've got um, a couple of quick announcements. And one is my, uh, let's see, I've got uh, two classes coming out this week. One is the celebration, well, the celebration celebration is still going strong. We've got really fun stuff coming up this week. Um, I had, uh, I was on my page today. Today and noticed some of the stuff I'd posted didn't actually post like the stuff I had scheduled to post. So I'm going to get that stuff reposted. And then also we have our live pajama party on Thursday night. So I'm really excited about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, in addition to that, I've got my Peaceful Poppies bun um, online class is going on this week. It comes out. And the projects for that are amazing. I'm really excited about that. Um, there's lots of just, they're, the, they're just so pretty, I guess, is the best way to say it. Um, and we're going to make something a little different this time. We've got our eight cards, but we're going to put them in a portfolio. And the portfolio also is a perpetual birthday calendar. So it's kind of cool. Um, so it's a great way to keep track of your birthdays. And I think you guys are going to love it. Um, this is a project I made many, and we're talking many years ago. Um, and well, actually we didn't, well, sort of made a project like this. It was a long, like I bet 10 plus years ago, I made something kind of like this once. Um, so I'm really excited to kind of rework it with some newer products. So I think it's going to be fun. Um, and then, um, oh, last week, my Stamping Through the Occasions catalog class uh, came out, and you can still get in on that action. Um, there's a lot of inspiration in that class. It's kind of like a mini retreat. Um, there's 16 cards that you're going to make. They focus on the Timeless Tulips bundle, the Poppy Suite. Um, let's see, what else did they use? Oh, the heartfelt bundle and the sim seriously, the best stamp set. I'll grab that for you so you can see it. It's this one. I really like this. You don't have to have any of those things to actually make the projects. You can do them pretty much without any of that stuff. Um, those are just the items that I used. You can substitute whatever you do have that will work. So a flower set, um, a, a word word set sentiments of your choice so whatever you want to use everything is pre-cut for you so it's going to be amazing plus it comes with a fabulous goodie bags bag full of products so that's a great deal um and my celebration celebration in case i didn't really explain what that was it's um it's like a two-week event that's we're about halfway through um right now on facebook there's live exclusive presentations. You can see the first one we did last week, and then there'll be another one. Um, like I said, on Thursday night, it's our pajama party. There's games. I've, I'm giving away a ton of prizes, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, Mary's asking, where do I go to find out about my paper? Like the paper Stampin' Up! carries? You can find that on my blog. And if you look at the description of this video or see more information um there's a link to my blog and all of that information is there um so let's go ahead i'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to get started okay so this around aha there we go okay so uh we're going to just dive right in the first project is going to feature the Timeless Tulips stamp set. This is a really cool stamp set because it also has a coordinating punch that we're going to use today. And I really like this stamp set a lot because of that punch. We've had tulip sets in the past that are very nice, um, but the, the punch really makes this one kind of stand out in my head. Um, and I'm also going to feature... Um, some of the new golden honey printed paper this is one of the um this is one of the 
celebration choices and celebration is our annual sales event that is going on now where when you spend $50 you can choose a free item out of here there's also items at the hundred dollar level and let me show you here is that paper it's really pretty stuff and it coordinates with some some of the products that are in our um some of our products that are in our occasions catalog okay so i am going to um take this piece that i've cut down and we are going to do a little bit of coloring on here um i'm going to take one of my brushes this is just an oval makeup brush you can get these on amazon I'm going to take some pool party and some pear pizzazz ink. Oops, I need my green one too. And I'm going to do some sponging on here. Okay. So whenever I do this, I'm just going to kind of pick up some ink, get rid of that first bit on there. And then I'm going to sponge right on this piece of printed paper. And you can see this has a beautiful gold um, print on it, but we're just adding some color. And this has been, actually, I was a, a little bit surprised. This has been one of the more popular celebration choices and celebration requests. Um, if you would like to see things, just let me know in the comments below and I can feature them on future uh live videos so now i did pair kind of um at the bottom and i'm going to do pool party at the top and i'm doing it kind of at an angle and it's going to be pretty much clear in between i won't color all the way the whole thing okay get rid of that first little bit make it kind of dark at the very corner and then this is what we get. Isn't that pretty? It's just very subtle color. And um, it's, it's really easy to do. So Sandy, tell me why you think you're not good at sponging. Tell me more about that. What happens? I think a lot of sponging is just practicing it, to be completely honest with you. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to take and I'm going to use that one too. Okay. I'm going to take and stamp a couple things. So I've got my background. Um, oh, you're hen, hen, heavy handed. It always turns out muddy. Okay. So Sandy, here's one thing. Notice how I did not blend these two colors together. I I left kind of an area in between where there's no color. That will definitely help. Um, when you blend colors together, you want to make sure that they're colors that would actually work together, not just um, colors that just like random colors, you know. Um, do I clean the brushes? Nope. But you'll notice like I have this one is labeled aqua. So I use it for pool party, coastal cabana, Bermuda Bay. Um, and then I have this one that's green and I would use this for, you know, the various shades of green, um, to clean, to clean them. I would just kind of do this and just get rid of the color. And then, you know, there we go. Okay. So now I've got a scrap. I'm going to set this one aside for a minute. I've got a scrap and I'm going to take and stamp, um, the stem on here as well as let's see as well as a leaf or two and then um, I'm gonna cut them out and I'm also gonna stamp my beautiful little uh, tulip okay so uh, I don't, you know what, I picked this curvy one out and I really want the straighter one. So I'm going to put that one back and switch. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. 
So, uh, like I said, I'm going to stamp this on my Pear Pizzazz cardstock in some Pear Pizzazz ink, like that. And then I'm going to cut it out with my scissors. Uh, and it's pretty easy to color or to cut out. I'm just going to leave a little bit of an edge. And I'm just going to kind of get this out of my paper and then I'll do the kind of detail cutting on it. So I'm just leaving a little bit of an edge on here. There we go. That's pretty easy. And then I'm going to punch. Now, when I look at my punch, I can see that my um, punch is on this side, not this side. And so um, what I'm going to do is take and arrange that like so. So because I know that where my punch is, I'm not doing it on this side because that would kind of waste. You know what I'm saying? So then we put this right in here and line it up and punch it out. It's stuck to my chest, but there we go. We've got our beautiful leaves. Now this is one of the sets that I um, feel stamping through the uh, occasions catalog. So, oops, I don't need that one. Um, so I do love this set. It's just so pretty. Okay. Now I've also got myself a piece of, um, grapefruit grove cardstock, and I'm going to ink up my, uh, tulip in some grapefruit grove ink, but I'm not done yet. I'm also going to grab my Calypso coral, Stampin' uh, Dauber, Sponge Dauber, pardon me, and some Calypso Coral ink, and I'm going to add some ink to this. Okay, so this is a shade darker, so I'm just going to sponge some ink towards the bottom of this, and then that will add kind of another um, little bit of shading to my card here. And look at how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. Now, I should have stamped it on the other side if I was following my directions about saving paper, but that's okay. There we go. Oh, it's just so pretty. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is woo, close this up before I get into any trouble. And then I'm going to bring that piece of paper back that I created the background on. And I'm just going to kind of layer up. I always, I can't, I always struggle with which direction I want this to be in. Okay. So I'll take a little bit of liquid glue and attach this. And I'm going to curl my leaf just a little bit and put that on. And then I will pop my tulip right on up because, you know, that's how I roll. Okay. So that looks pretty good. I'm just going to trim off the rest of my stem. So there we go. Okay, now what I want to do is put this together on my card. So I've got a Bermuda Bay card base that I've already folded. And we'll just give this a good crease with my bone folder. I've got, this was three and three quarters by five, and then you're going to laugh. Um, I didn't cut this right. <laughs> I cut it at four and seven eighths, and I don't know why. 
because I knew it needed to be darker than that or bigger than that, but I messed that up. So, oh well. Um, so I'm going to put this on here, but I cut, because I cut the piece wrong, I was like, oh, I'll just cut another one. But then I put it on here and I kind of liked the look of that. So I'm going to keep it. Um, so sometimes, you know, those kind of little happy accidents happen and I liked the way this one turned out. So I thought it was all right. Okay. So we'll go ahead and adhere this. And that looks good. And I love how vibrant the colors are. They just, I think the contrast between this orangey shade of coral, um, the grapefruit and calypso coral against the aqua shades are really pretty. Okay, and we'll pop this whole layer up onto our card as well. All right, now I wanted to put my sentiment on to something that would really contrast, and that is I'm going to emboss it on a black strip and put it right down here. Now, the um, stent, stent, there's a whole bunch of sentiments in our stamp set, which are wonderful, and we could use any of them. We've got Happy Mother's Day, Hello, um, What a Beautiful Difference. Oh, wait. It's easier to read them here. What a beautiful dis difference one single life makes. May the memories of yesterday comfort you today. Happy birthday. Get well soon. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Easter. Happy spring. Happy, happy everything. So I think um, I'm just going to do, uh, well, hmm, get well soon, you know, because this is a really cheerful card. I think this would definitely make anybody feel better if they received this card in the mail. I'm going to even mount my stamp on straight because that's also how I roll. Okay, so I'm going to emboss this. I just got to grab my powder. So I'm going to use white. And uh, I've got my embossing buddy. And some Versamark. So I'm going to use my embossing buddy on the top of this. And ink this up with Versamark ink and stamp that right on here in white. It's even straight, so that makes me feel pretty good. And then I'm going to crack this baby open. Put some powder on and oh actually I might have kicked off too much powder let's try to get a little more on here there we go that's better okay then we heat that my husband has been using my heat gun all the time it's making me crazy but luckily it was back here in my office for today go I'm just gonna snip this off straight <laughs> that straight part is always the tricky part isn't it all right I'm gonna take and punch this and then we'll pop this up onto our card with a couple of dimensionals. And then last but not least, we're going to embellish just a little further. With some sequins. I've got my adhesive back sequins. And I'm just going to, ooh, uh-oh, there, whew, it came off. Um, 
I've got these basic adhesive backed sequins, which I just love. And, hmm, maybe I'll just do that. Yeah, there we go. So, isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love this card. Oh, it's so nice. All right, so that was our first card. Let me put a couple of things away, and then we'll go on to our next card. We're going to switch gears quite a bit here. And our next card is going to feature, um, in, um, it's going to feature the birthday, let's see, Bonanza Buddies, that's what it's called, which is just the cutest set. And while I would say it's kind of geared towards kids, I love this set so much that I definitely would consider this, um, perfect for anybody who you have a birthday for. So we're going to create a really cute card. And I want to show you where I got the inspiration from it or for it. Um, I was paging through my celebration catalog and in the back there is uh, this little section right here with um, this Power of Hope bundle. And I really liked this card sample so I thought I would try to create um, a card with this layout. It's got these little strips of paper on here. So let me show you what I came up with. Now the printed paper in this little suite is adorable, of course. And we're going to incorporate some of those pieces on here. So I've got a Bermuda Bay card base. And, oh, once again, I've got Bermuda Bay. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so I'm going to fold this over. Get a good burnish with my bone folder. And then I embossed this piece with uh, the subtle embossing folder. And I'm going to adhere these strips. And, ooh, they're not cut the right size. So let's get my little paper cutter out here. Um, ooh, where is my paper cutter? Ooh. Well, that's not good. I lost it. How is that possible? Well, for goodness sakes. Oh, this weekend, I have to laugh. Um, <laughs> one of the things we had a session on how to film videos for training <laughs> and one of the things we talked about was how to edit out the part where you're looking for stuff you can't find on your desk <laughs> in your video because that happens um okay so I can't find my I was gonna use my little mini trimmer because that's the perfect thing for this but since I can't find it my gosh I know it's sitting here because I was using it right before I went live but whatever um I just need to cut these down these little strips down uh just a skosh Okay, and I'm, things are flying all over. All right, so I had these at three and a quarter inches. And three and a quarter inches. Okay, so I've got my piece that's embossed. I've got one, two, let's see. One, two three, four pieces of patterned paper. And I'm going to adhere these onto my embossed piece. Okay, and so I love, they've kind of got just these subtle little backgrounds and I'm just gonna do them a little cockeyed from one another like so. They don't have to be straight, it can be if you want. Now this set has just the cutest little images in here. There is a koala, a toucan, um, a lion, and then there's kind of, there's like candles and presents and um, party hats and different things that kind of coordinate. Now the other thing that coordinates with this set is this cute ruched ribbon. This is like quarter inch probably. Yeah, quarter inch. Uh, Daffodil Delight Ruched Ribbon. So I'm going to just bring that across here like so and tie. I'll just tie a knot. 
Maybe I'll wait. I'll, I'll tie this on actually after I do some of the other stuff. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside for a second. All right, uh, just don't let me adhere it. <laughs> okay, so then I've got this print. This is another little piece of the printed paper, and it's so cute, this little toucan holding the balloons. So I'm just going to fussy cut this out, which I know is a little bit of a pain. You can actually use your dies to die cut the printed paper, but this one has those extra balloons um, in the design. So I'm just going to fussy cut those out. And they're, it's just so cute. Oh my gosh. Isn't this riveting? Watching me cut. <laughs> it looks, it sounds like Brenda lost something. Oh, you know, I, oh, you lost a stamp. I totally have that happen. Um, I usually find it in really odd places. Like I found, I found a stamp once stuck to a cellophane, cellophane bag that was that had like a class packet of cardstock in it. Um, I've also found them on the backs of stamp cases, um, on the bottom of my stamparatus, on the bottom of my paper trimmer. You never know where they will hide those little stinkers, especially the photopolymer stamps because they just they're sticky. So I feel your pain, Miss Brenda. I'm so sorry. Okay, almost done. Now the color that matches this is actually terracotta tile, but I think this is cuter than terracotta tile. Um, I don't know if that's <laughs> silly to say or not, but I'm just saying. I like it, but okay. Now I'm gonna take my two and a quarter inch circle punch and I'm actually going to punch a circle out of a piece of my vellum cardstock. And that way I can kind of mount this on something, but I don't give up all of the cute papers um, that are on here. I don't want to lose all of that, you know, the look of them. But I will pop this up. So I'm going to put a bunch of dimensionals on the backs here. I say I know I have two sheets out already. Where are the rest? And then I might take a couple minis and stick them on here just because I really want this to look nice. It's just so stinking cute. Put one on the little beak, another one on our balloons, and one on the tail. And this will be a well adhered bird. Or should I say a well popped up bird? I don't know. And there we go. Now, what I'm also going to do is I've stuck this on. Obviously, the dimensionals stick off a little bit. But I'm also going to put a little bit of adhesive right here and right here on my um, circle punch because it's it won't show through in those spots. All right, now I'm going to put this on and we'll tie this right over here. Like so. Oh, come on, fingernails. Don't fail me now. Trim that off just a touch. 
much. Oh, this is just so stinking cute. And I think I might actually tuck this in underneath. There we go. That looks good too. All right, we'll adhere this to our card. And then... Okay, and then I've got a quarter, well, a four by five and a quarter inch piece of cardstock that's going to go on the inside. Okay, and for that, I'm going to take and stamp my toucan. Just got to grab my stamps. They're under here. So I've got my little toucan image. And what I love is that he's kind of pointing the other direction. So I'm making sure he's inked up really good. In fact, I'm even going to practice on my scrap paper here first. Yeah, that looks pretty good. There we go. And then I'll take my Bermuda Bay and... Daffodil Delight, and we'll stamp the party hat right on him, and the tassel in Bermuda Bay, and then I'm going to color his little beak in, and for that I will use some mango and some Bermuda. Um, let's see, what do I have here? Dark. And then I'll use light back here. And then I'm debating. Maybe I'll use Calypso Coral. Yeah, that'll work. That's light Calypso Coral. That looks good. And then uh, finally, I've got my sentiment that says, let's celebrate you. And I'm just going to put that on the inside of my card. So, ooh, that's not it let me stick a little more glue in there but isn't that just the cutest oh my gosh I think and I really just think anybody would like a card like this oh it's just so sweet so there we go okay and you could put in a sentiment on the outside if you wanted but I kind of liked it as it was without so um I think it when there's nothing on the front it sort of makes it even more excited to see what it's going to say on the inside. So, all right, so there's our second card. Let me get rid of a couple ink pads. And then, ooh, the next one we have is just so simple and easy. And you can do this in all kinds of combinations. So I'm going to use the Label Me Bold stamp set. This was one of the stamp sets that's... Um, for, I think, uh, yeah, Jasmine Schultze. I'm not, sh I'm sure I'm still not saying that right. She's German. And um, I love this. It's like the, um, it's like the label, the little label maker, you know, that you can make. Um, so I really like these. And someone just said they like the, the uplifting colors I use. Well, here you go. Uh, we're going to make a super duper simple card. Um, I'm actually really simplifying it, but then I'll show you an option that does not use the super simple card. So this is a note card and envelope that I'm going to use. So these come pre-cut, pre-scored, and all that business. Um, but here's why I don't like pre-scoring things. Look at that. It's off. I'll try folding it the other way. Nope, that's even worse. Okay, so to fix that, I'm going to... Um, 
burnish it into submission with my bone folder. This is not super easy to do either. But there, now it's straight. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this is stamp a very happy color combination. So I'm going to start with some lovely lipstick and I'm going to use congratulations on mine. So I'm just going to stamp congratulations once and I'll grab uh, my chamois and I will stamp it again. This time in Calypso, no, well, Calypso Coral. Then I'm going to use Daffodil Delight. And you could do this in a lot of different color combos, um, but I'm just kind of doing a rainbow. Ooh, I just got my finger in that one figures. All right, Granny Apple Green is next. The important thing is to clean your stamp in between each one of these. Otherwise, you will end up with not good stuff happening. All right, I'm going to go with Coastal Cabana, the color that lets us know God loves us. <laughs> the best. And then finally, I'm going to finish up with Gorgeous Grape. Okay. So, with all of those colors, I want to embellish just a little. I'm just going to go really simple and grab some rhinestones. And just to put a few of them on here. I'll take one of the big ones and set it ooh, right there. And I'll take a medium sized one and put it there and a little one and put it right up there. Okay, so this is just a super duper quick, super duper cute card. Now it comes with a matching envelope. So we could take and do something to the back if you wanted. Um, ooh, you know what might be fun? What if we took, hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to find some coordinating paper. Um, I'm going to take and... adhere printed paper to this flap and then just trim this off and then you have a matching envelope and while this might seem like not much it's a really nice touch and if I'm not mistaken, y'all hoard your printed paper. So this would be a really great way to use some of it up in your cards. Okay, so there's my little flap of my envelope to go with my congratulations card. Now you can do these in any of the words that are on here. There's tons of them, so they're really fun. You can embellish them with some of the coordinating little images that come in there. Here's another card I did much in the same way, but I made it a full-sized card. So I just lined it with some black pop, um, adhered it to a Coastal Cabana card base, and then embellished with just a little pop of that ribbon. So um, really cute, but a super easy card to create. Um, it doesn't take any time at all, hardly. So, And then, you know, the set has everything. It's got congratulations, happy birthday, thank you from... From me for you hello so you've got everything covered there so really really easy okay and then ooh, our last card is another good one oh 
And I still am wondering what happened to my little paper trimmer. Because I needed to trim some of my paper for this one, too. That is so crazy. Don't you just wonder? Like, I kind of feel like... Oh, I think I found it. It was under my catalog. Well, that just figures. Okay. So, this next card is a really cool card. And it is a card I received in a swap... And I really liked it, but I wanted to change it up a little bit. And um, um, what I wanted to do was take and recreate this card, but with different colors. Because I don't know about you, but like Valentine's Day, red and pink kind of only can take you so far. So I wanted to make kind of a fancier version of this, I guess. Okay, so we're going to change this up with my favorite, the Peaceful uh, Poppies printed paper. All right, so I'm going to start. Uh, let's see. I need. Uh, I need my big trimmer for this one. I need five and a quarter inches. And this is that uh, Peaceful Poppies printed paper. And then I also, I guess I don't need my trimmer for this one. <laughs> so much for that. But everything is sliding around on my desk because nothing is staying where I'm putting it. And that's making me crazy. Okay, so I'm going to start with this base of printed paper. I've got a card that is thick whisper white, and I will adhere this. Actually, I'm not going to adhere this quite, uh, quite yet. Okay, now I've got my doilies, and these doilies are really pretty, but they also are white on the other side, so you can color these with sponging or however you want to color them. I'm going to just place mine on here. I also have a couple of coordinating prints of the Poppy's DSP, and I'm going to punch those with my two heart punches that are part of the... Uh, Heart sweet. So I've got this scalloped one that I'm going to use. And then I also have this solid one. I just got to grab my solid heart. And then lastly, I'm going to look at how pretty this paper is. I'm kind of trying to find a purple section so it coordinates. And then lastly, I'm going to stamp. On a scrap with the heart image that is part of the heartfelt bundle um, and for that I'm going to ooh, I'm gonna stamp that in uh, I could do a lot of different colors I actually might use lovely lipstick it's not quite red but it's not purple so it might be a perfect kind of color to use. Okay, so I'm gonna ink this image up. Happy Valentine's Day. And so this is a really nice Valentine image, but it's um, it's not in your totally traditional Valentine colors. Okay, what do I do with my heart? It's just right there in front of me. Okay. So let's put all of these together on our card here. So we've got our little doily. We're just going to adhere that one down kind of a little bit at an angle. And then I've got my scalloped heart. And I'm going to pop this one up on here. My 
like so. I've got my solid heart and I'm actually going to just kind of rest this and scooching it up so there's enough room. <laughs> and then I've got my Happy Valentine's Day heart and we'll pop this one up. Like so, but you know what? I'm going to put some ribbon on here first. And I've been using this black. No, I'm not going to want black satin. Never mind. Kidding. I'll use the um, crinkled seam binding on here. Since this is a white card base, I'll tie in the white ribbon. And that'll be pretty. So I just took my kind of traditional Valentine card and switched it to be still a very nice Valentine card, but with maybe less than traditional prints. But you know what? I love those poppies, so this would make me happy to receive a card like this because you know those poppies are just the best. And as long as we're talking about poppies, shameless plug, my poppy class is going to come out on Friday. So you don't want to miss that. It's the first of two classes. The second one will come out next month and that will feature the other poppy bundle. So this is the peaceful moments. And then the second one will feature the peaceful or the painted poppies, I think is what it's called. Oh my gosh, I can't keep all the names straight. So there we go. That looks so beautiful. But, but wait, there's more. We're going to embellish just a bit. So we've got the Peaceful Poppies sequins. So I'm going to take this and stick these on. Now, full disclosure, you can glue these on, but I'm lazy. Like, legit lazy. <laughs> As opposed, opposed to the just mostly lazy <laughs> uh, category. I'm legit lazy. Like I don't screw around in my laziness. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to just um, grab a few of these sequins and we're going to stick them down. There's uh, some that are kind of the shape of a little flower which is so cute. And then some that are just plain, you know, normal sequins, so to speak, I guess for lack of a better description. Okay, so we'll put all these on. I like using these, um, I like using the, the glue dots to get these on rather than the actual glue um, because of my legit laziness. <laughs> <laughs> but on these slightly smaller ones, you just want to make sure you get that tucked in well um, under the under the um, sequin itself. If if the glue dot it is a little bigger than the sequin, just make sure you get it tucked in under there. So there we go. And that's where this pick your tool tool is so helpful because you can just kind of smush it in. All right. So there we go. We've got the sequins and the paper. It's all just so pretty. All right, guys, those are our cards. I'm going to pull them out and show you again once again so you can enjoy. Just cover these up so we don't have a situation arise. <sighs> okay. So we've got the Happy Valentine's Day card that I cased from kind of the traditional Valentine. All right. We've got the super quick and easy congratulations card featuring the Label Me Bold stamp set. And don't forget the coordinating envelope that goes with it. I just glued a little piece of printed paper on there. And then here is a full-sized version of that card. Just added it a layer of um, basic black 
uh, embellished it with some of our glimmer black organdy ribbon and then um, put it on my card there. I've got this adorable toucan birthday card that's just the sweetest ever. And finally, the very, very pretty timeless tulip card that's a get well soon card and of course this would brighten anybody's day I'm sure um, and it also features the uh, golden honey uh, designer series paper that's one of the celebration items so I hope you loved these projects I will put these on my blog tomorrow for you along with the video link so if you're watching this on the replay um, thank you for being here if you have any questions, let me know. And I'm going to go just relax for a little bit. I think we're going to have chicken noodle soup for dinner tonight. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you soon. Bye.